creative friends welcome to my channel and here we are again with another cleaning thing that i make using my essential oils because i don't like to buy store-bought chemicals to spray around my house so i have for years used essential oils i've said this many times i can't remember the last time i bought a store-bought cleaning product but I love using essential oils, and I have for years, but a few years ago, I started a monthly subscription box with Simply Earth essential oils. I'm not sponsored. They don't even know that I'm doing these videos. I just do them because I love this product. These oils are all super pure, super good, super clean, super affordable, super amazing. Anyway, all the things. So... I will make this cleaning spray that I like, which actually this recipe is on the website. If you go to the Simply Earth website, um, even if you don't subscribe, they have a blog there with tons of recipes. And most of my recipes come from there uh, because I trust that. But anyway, um, some of the other products I get are like the little cleaning tablets. I get those there. I don't, haven't really even bothered to try to look for them anywhere else. But it's amazing. If you want to do the... Um, monthly subscription box there's a little link down there that gets you a discount and it's worth checking out but for this this um spray i call it the general freshening multi-purpose spray that's what i have on my little bottle and i will change this seasonally so right now we just just went into spring so i'm doing this spring cleaner sp spray recipe so for this so simple it takes you less time to make this than it does to try to figure out what you want to buy at the store so it's three quarters cup of hot, of hot water, which I have, and three quarters a cup of vinegar, which I've already put into my uh, quart jar. So I have that. And then there's one cleaning tablet. So I'm going to put that in here, and it's going to take about five minutes. It kind of dissolves. You can watch it. kind of looks like the old Alka-Seltzer tablets that dissolve. So I'm going to come back to you when that's dissolved, and all we're going to do is blend them. But the only oil that we're using in this is... Um, the clean and fresh. Now this is one of the blends that Simply Earth has. And in my little oils here, all of these are blends. All of these are pure oils. Um, single. So these are amazing. They come up with these great blends. And clean and fresh, I really like this just to diffuse oftentimes because it just makes the house smell so good. Because what's in here is fir needle, neroli, lemon, and grapefruit. So good. But that's what's going to go in here. So once this is all dissolved i'll come back to you and we'll put the rest of it together so we've dissolved now the whole tablet's dissolved which is good but now it's super simple i am just going to take this and pour it in here i could have poured it the other way it doesn't matter and then i'm going to put in 10 to 15 drops of the clean and fresh simply earth essential oil blend so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Cause I mean business. All right. It smells good. Yeah, it does. And you don't smell the vinegar. Like when you spray it, you're gonna smell that clean and fresh. And if you really love it, you can put a couple more. Yeah, see how it foams up so nice with that cleaning tablet? I am gonna put a few more because I really love this. So that would be 20 drops. And, you know, you have to be careful with certain oils around pets. Um, I learned in all of the learning, which, by the way, when you do this, you actually get an online uh, course that they sell individually. But if you do the monthly subscription box, you get access to that course. But I learned <clears throat> that cats don't like citrus. I did not know that. It's like, and then I think about it. And, yeah, I feel like if I uh, go to start unpeeling an orange or something and there's a cat, they always run away. Because I think what I read was that they don't have the enzymes in their liver to process citrus. So they'll run away. They don't like it. So you need to be careful with the oils that you use if you're using them around pets. Good idea is if you're using an oil, make sure that your pet's not stranded in that room. Make sure that your pet has uh, a way out. And if they don't like it or they can't tolerate it, they will leave. They're smart. Animals are smart. They know how to take care of themselves. All right, so there we have spring cleaner spray. I'm going to give it a good spray so that I can smell it. <gasps> I dropped my card. Oh, no. Okay, I'll get it. i got to wash those. Give it a little misty spray. I love this one. Oh, I just love this one. It's so good. So now I'm going to go put that on my cleaning cart. And I have one of those three-tiered carts with, like, my borax and my washing soda and baking soda 
and my essential oil cleaners and I can just reach in there these are all lined up on the top and I can grab this one so this is just a general freshener multi-purpose so in between cleanings I'll take this around and give it a mist on uh, things I just want to wipe off and uh, it will work great oh I squeezed that a little bit too hard okay so there you have it the um, multi-purpose cleaning spray which is like the springtime cleaning spray which is awesome um, I love it no, this isn't the multi-purpose. I just did the multi-purpose. This is just the cleaning spray, the springtime, you know, in-between kind of spray. But I hope you guys check it out. I hope you love it. And if you have any other questions about it, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.